everyone, my name is Robert, I'm with Air Gun Addicts. Uh, since it is the 4th of July, I thought it would be fitting, since it's Independence Day, to do a little video on guns. So, um, I have here my FX Bobcat 30 caliber. Um, this gun is actually really basically brand new. I've shot it once. Um, it's extremely powerful, very quiet, extremely accurate. Um, has a very smooth lever, as you guys know from the FX brand, that their levers are extremely smooth. Um, I haven't shot this much because of the amount of guns that I have, so it's difficult to choose which one to shoot, as you guys, or some of you guys may know. Um, so let's talk about a little bit about the gun. Um, this gun is typically used for uh, larger games such as coyote, uh, raccoon, uh, rock chuck, things of that nature. Um, it's a little bit overkill if you use it for pigeons or birds or even uh, prairie dogs unless you're trying to reach out for like over a hundred yards then I would say this would do uh, do the job um, I have a hawk scope on it um, and uh, it's an illuminated scope and uh, it fits nice on here extremely clear to look through the glass is very clear on this scope um, here is the field probe right here it's got a cap over it right now. This is a cap that came with it. So this is the dust cap, you put that on. It's magnetic, which is pretty cool. It's magnetic, so you put this on so that when you're not feeling it, and you're actually shooting and you're in the woods or wherever you're at, uh, dust doesn't get up there and uh, blow your seals or anything like that. The, um, the other thing I'd like to show you is they did a little neat thing here. What they did was they made a little compartment for for the uh, here. Let me pop it out for the magazine, which is pretty cool. This slides right in there. Uh, I thought that was pretty genius. And um, this gun, uh, I say it's probably about ten pounds with the scope on it. Um, this is not the original, this is the Bobcat, uh, I guess the second version, MK2 I, I guess is what they call it. This is the second version. Um, it had, uh, the other version, there were some issues I guess with the handle, the grip, so they changed the grip. And um, I think that's really the only, the only other thing that they did on it. Maybe the air tank as well. Um, I know that there's a larger air tank that comes with the uh, FX Bobcat. And um, so they changed that, and on the end of this, right here where the silencer is, you can actually add these on. So you can add two or three or four, and that quiets the gun down even more. Now it's actually pretty quiet, but you can uh, take the end cap off and add some more on, or you can add on a, uh, an actual silencer which I uh, tend to do, which is a uh, Donnie FL. You guys know about Donnie and his silencers are pretty quiet. They quiet things down a lot. Um, this, uh, this gun has actually been in a safe for quite some time. Uh, I think it's time to bring it out and see if I can uh, get some coyotes with it. Um, and uh, see how good it does on coyotes. Now I know that I have an Ed gun and I've taken some coyotes with my Ed gun, the 25 cal. Now this is a 30 cal, so I'm, if, if the Ed gun, the 25 cal can take down coyotes, then uh, I'm pretty confident this 30, this 30 cal will, uh, will be just fine with coyotes. Um, let's see, is there anything else? Well, I just wanted to do a quick short video on the 4th on Independence Day and uh, on a gun and uh, on behalf of Independence and, and the right to bear arms and uh, 
we in America are very blessed to be able to do so. Still, there's other countries that cannot do that, as you guys very well know. And um, so I just want to thank you guys for watching. And um, if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button. We'll be doing more videos. Uh, bear with me. I'm just starting out doing these videos, so obviously they'll get a little bit better. And um, we'll get more things to you guys, not just guns. We'll do other things, hunting. Um, we'll do some product review and um, also some uh, camouflage review on some of the gear that I wear when I actually go out and all those things. So, again, thank you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.